Today I am beyond extraordinarily excited because I get to talk to you about one of my new favorite books in the entire world. And that book is, well you know because you've read the title, but I'll give you this ten by Jandy Nelson. I read Jandy Nelson's The Skies Everywhere, BT Dubs cover change, so pretty ha! Huh? Back in February and loved it. Was up until 1.30 on a school night crying, just absolutely fell in love with this book. So immediately I checked and saw if she had any other books coming out and saw this was due to come out in September and was so distraught because September, I hate waiting. So I am eternally grateful to Penguin for supplying me with this advanced copy and also would like to mention it is completely worth the wait. It is so good. The book itself is about a pair of twins named Jude and Noah. Jude's a girl, Noah's a boy, and Jude tells the perspective of them when they're 16. Noah t tells his perspective when they are 13. So it's two different time periods and two different ages. At age 13, Jude and Noah are extremely close. Noah is working to go to a really nice art school. He's really into art and drawing. And Jude is more of a popular girl who likes to hang out with people, pretty herself up and stuff like that. And they're just the best of friends. Then something happens, and it's not in the synopsis so I'm not going to tell you, but something happens that kind of tears their family apart a little bit. In Jude's perspective, she is 16. Noah has since given up his dream of going to art school. And Jude is looking to... This is so hard to explain because there's a spoiler that like puts everything into action and everything that happens in the now perspective is kind of a result of that so it's extremely hard to explain without spoiling anything. It's about family ties and relationships and dreams and it's about finding each other again. It's about putting yourself first and making yourself happy and I can't explain this book without making it seem like a gush of things that aren't good but it is honestly my number one favorite book of 2014 and it is amazing. I cannot wait until this comes out on September 16th and shove it in everyone's hands like oh, it's so pretty oh my gosh. Cool so now for my actual review. This is non-spoilers so stick around if you are what. <laughs> Like I was explaining, this goes on in two different perspectives, lots of things happening and you're probably confused at my synopsis and me hearing about it I was like oh my gosh this is gonna get confusing, I'm not gonna know what's going on, I'm gonna forget which time period we're in, but no. I was very surprised how fluidly everything went and I was never confused on what time we were in or what person I was reading from. I always knew what was happening and nothing ever got jumbled up or confusing, which was perfect. So if you're scared to read this because you keep hearing everyone saying different times and different people and all this different relationship family stuff, no. It's good. It completely stays understandable and you will follow along perfectly. One of the main things that I love about Jenny Nelson is that I think it's she's my favorite writer because she honestly truly writes the rawest writing I have ever read in my entire life and that's to say like it's not inappropriate but it's still honest and truthful and it's just it feels like she scraped something out of your brain and put it on paper and it's like wow that's exactly how life is I've just never put it into words so every single time I read one of her books I'm just like Yes, it's very enlightening and it's just, I can't get enough of it. I know her next book doesn't come out until like 2017. <laughs> so definitely gonna have to work on my patience for that one. So I'm extremely excited, if you can't tell. I love her so much. This is kind of like the writing, so I'm just gonna keep talking about it, but the characters. Oh my gosh! Um, I pff, Character development and just the way they're described and what they do and what they say and how they think. Even characters other than Jude and Noah, I'm still like, eh. <sighs> I feel like every single one of them is real and just has such vibrant, real emotions that you feel like you could be them. And I couldn't really connect personally with any of the characters because I hadn't been going through any of the problems they were, they were experiencing. However, I could see how other people could be like, oh my gosh, that is me. That is my life. So I just, it's such 
wonderful characterization, characterization, and I can't put my finger on how she does it, but I wrote down in my notes, this is a very weird way of explaining it, but it's how I was thinking of it at the time, I put, the characters are like, you're admiring them from the corner of your eye, yet you still know their deepest secrets. So it's like, I hope that makes sense, because I can't explain it any other way. It's like, you know who they are because you're reading about them, and you know what their life is like because you've experienced it with them, but still, there's just something so... <sighs> What's the word? I don't know. Hopefully you're understanding. I'm gonna move on because I'm just getting really exasperated about, like, <laughs> the perfection of this book. Another thing I love about this book is that it deals with a ton of real life issues. I wrote down a list of just a couple of things and noticed, hopefully these aren't spoilers, but there's stuff like alcohol abuse, bullying, a lot of bullying, um, death, anxiety, cheating, and most importantly just like family drama, homosexuality, and so good. And again, you'd think that with all of that going on, you'd be like, oh my gosh, what is even happening? But seriously, it's just so welded together so well that you don't even notice you're reading all these different things until the very end when you're like, wow, that was a roller coaster. I didn't write anything down about this, but I really just wanted to mention the whole thing about Noah being gay. I was obviously fine with that. I'm fine with reading about gay characters. I don't read that genre because it's not something I'm interested in. However, I was completely in love with this boy and said love interest that comes into the book. Oh my gosh. I'm just mentioning this because I'm not normally someone that reads that, like I said. So, if you're like me and haven't really read anything in that genre or haven't read too many books where a main character is gay, this. Enough said. Jude also has her little love partner and whew, he is my baby. I love him so much. I'm not going to talk about him because I don't want to spoil anything. So lips are sealed. You have to read the book. But it's so good. Yes. Anyway, okay, so the reason I was going to talk about that is because I wanted to say that even though they do have their little relationships, it's a perfect balance between relationship and family. The book is really based on family, and I know that after Frozen we're all like, wow, a family based, wow, huh. I just love how it wasn't all my boyfriend, or it wasn't all my twin, it was like, not half and half, but Nelson still found the way to make it work. And that's like my number one thing I applaud her for, is that she just makes everything work. And by work, I don't mean like, bare minimum it worked. I mean like it was amazing because it worked and I, uh, I'm getting so excited about this because it's so good and I can't speak the way I want to speak about it because it's so good I can't put it into words. I think I've touched on mainly everything that I loved about this book so I'm gonna go into the one thing that I didn't appreciate too much which is one thing that's I never do that. Whenever I review a book I have at least 20 so just the one thing Inevitably, like any book written in dual perspective, I don't know if everyone does this, but I definitely do. I tend to choose a favorite out of the two. So I found myself really liking Jude's chapters more than Noah. I'm not saying I didn't like Noah. I'm not saying it bored me. I'm just saying I, w I definitely got really excited when it came to the Jude chapters. And <laughs> I don't know if that's just my bias because I liked the characters and the setting more in that one or what it was but maybe you'll like Noah's better because of whatever reason I'm just saying the way it's written might make you think I like this half of the book better than this half of the book and that might be a con to some people if they're groaning every time they come to a section they don't like so yeah um would highly recommend if you haven't noticed by now oh. <laughs> I need that new book. She probably hasn't even written it yet, but I'm like, send it over. Thank you everyone for watching. I almost said Whitney. Your name isn't Whitney. Probably only like four of you are named Whitney. Shout out to anyone named Whitney. What do you think you were watching this review? I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you're planning on buying this and or how excited you are for it because you should be. So good. Thank you everyone. Goodbye.